Hi and welcome to the Market Alert for Wednesday the 21st of August 2024. So yesterday stock sideways whilst the dollar moved lower and bonds uh, rose ahead of FMC meeting minutes out tonight. Uh, gold hits new record high as communism uh, growth scare spoil stocks party. Goldilocks for stocks as gold hits uh, record high. And an interesting article here that was brought to my attention yesterday by uh, Philip. So thanks for that. Uh, One million gold bars for the first time ever. As uh, you can see there for the 400 uh, ounce bar, it is now worth uh, over $1 million. Well, currently, whilst the price is above $2,500 an ounce there. So heading in the right direction, up 22% so far this year, which is more than can be said for the suppression of silver. But that's a different story. So let's uh, move along. Economic news uh, for today. Uh, we've got uh, crude oil inventories out at 3.30pm uh, and then 7pm. The market's going to be intrigued to want to know what's in uh, the last meeting minutes. Right, let's have a look at the sideways markets for yesterday and kick off with the Dow. So yesterday's Dow the market uh, sideways to high, still above the five bar moving average, still stuck at the 89% retracement, but I suspect we'll have no trouble ploughing through all of this today, given that uh, the market has no news till the FOMC, and then uh, that's obviously going to be a positive for the market as it usually is. Never seen the market collapse from this uh, in recent times. So uh, no rate cut either, that will be next month if there is going to be one, it's September, so we'll see. Um, so just the um, meeting minutes uh, for last month and that's out at 7 p.m. Yesterday market just very choppy sideways to lower in the electronic cash market just choppy sideways overnight market higher than the DP and uh, yesterday's close so not too far off yesterday's high for this market. In the German DAX uh, the market still not taken out the 89% retracement traded above it but hasn't actually closed above it just yet. So hope for that as well. 30 minute chart if I can find it, which is here. Uh, again, yesterday, uh, the market just drifting all the way down apart from a bit of a reprieve there during yesterday afternoon at uh, 2.30 when the market opened in the US and then the market reversing from there and continuing down. Overnight, the market uh, found support at yesterday's close, closing above the 20, uh, the 50 EMA there as well at the moment. Just needs to get back above the DP, but uh, just a slow gradual decline yesterday for the German DAX. And in the S&P 500, again, trying to uh, get through the 89% retracement. The market needs to uh, drive through this, and uh, certainly through the high of yesterday, in order to get back to the all-time high for this market. 30-minute chart, very sideways yesterday. And then in the cash market, so also sideways to lower, finding support at the DP before moving back to Monday's high. And then overnight, the market uh, finding support at yesterday's close and DP, the high not too far above uh, this level. In the FT100, uh, the market also uh, down yesterday. Europe seemed to be uh, struggling a bit yesterday with the DAX uh, also just grinding lower as uh, the FT did as well. And again, market needs to get above the 89 to get anywhere near the all time high. In the 30 minutes, again, very similar picture to that of the German DAX, except uh, this market didn't bounce during the 12, uh, sorry, the 230 open of the US market, uh, just remained sideways to lower and reversing off uh, yesterday's low for this market uh, above the DP at the moment still quite a bit off the high but no news until uh, the crude oil inventories at 3.30 so plenty of chance for the market to regain yesterday's uh, down move which uh, you can see there. In the US dollar down again yesterday and uh, overnight trying to bounce back just a, a little there so let's have a look at the Metals for yesterday, particularly gold, making that new all-time high. So starting off with the silver market yesterday, prices uh, moving higher, trading up to nearly $30 an ounce, failed to stay above, uh, but overnight prices picking up a little there. And you can see why yesterday morning the market moving up, but as soon as we get to the London fix, the, the bank has come in and slammed the price, and we're trying to now move back off this. This should be a lot higher than this, uh, given that gold is making new all-time highs at the moment. 
but uh, I don't need to say any more on that. So yesterday, new all-time high in the gold market. So you can see that there, uh, up at uh, 2,531 market, uh, slam back down though, as you can see there. And again, this is going to be a picture with uh, or a pattern with the gold market as it makes new all-time highs. Expect the slams uh, for the central banks to actually try and buy more physical gold. So yesterday uh, we moved higher. Again, the London fix hammered the market down and that's been brought back and above the uh, DP there as well at the moment. Right, let's uh, have a quick look at the gold silver ratio and this uh, sideways to lower for yesterday. Uh, finding a bit of support, obviously with silver being slammed and gold making the new all time high. But uh, there we go. Over in the Far East, uh, silver price is uh, 32.66 and 29.77 for the derivative market. So narrowing a bit uh, there. Okay, let's have a look at uh, yesterday's trades. So in the early part of the session, the market was moved uh, higher there. Prices above the high of Monday as well before we kicked off. But as we saw earlier, the market uh, drifting sideways, uh, unfortunately taken out of this short, which was a shame because the market then, uh, despite moving higher initially, reversed and uh, then uh, continued down for the remainder of the trading session there. Obviously, the market doesn't know what to do at the moment, waiting for these FOMC meeting minutes. And then mid-morning prices just are drifting further down towards the DP. And again, as we move down to the DP, we then head into the uh, US weakness as well, which you'll see uh, shortly. So prices are bouncing a bit there before they reverse and then continue low. And unfortunately, we didn't get any uh, signals there to uh, take any trades because the volatility had just uh, dropped off. So classic sideways for yesterday afternoon there. So let's have a look at the overnight uh, market. And at the moment, uh, prices uh, above uh, or sitting at the DP. We just squeeze the chart up. Uh, you'll see we're quite a way off the low. Uh, we've got the 200 MA below the 50, the 20 and the 5 all in the right order. We just need to break through the DP and then there's a chance of trading back up towards uh, yesterday's high. Okay, that's it for this one. Have a great day and uh, let's see what those FOMC meeting minutes uh, uh, do to the market when they're released uh, later this evening. So with that, uh, as ever, thanks for watching. See you in the next one.